today is what dreams are made of. First weather window we've had in months that's this nice. I mean, it is slicked out. There is no wind today. And what's even better is we have clear blue water and it is amberjack season. So we're gonna see if we can take advantage of the day. I'm out here with my brother Blake and just the two of us, we're gonna have a nice chill day. AJ season closes in a couple days. So I brought some spear guns. We have a couple rods, but really I wasn't planning to uh, do what we're doing. I brought my little roller gun. I was planning on coming out and shooting state water red snapper today. Um, but plans changed, conditions were way better than um, predicted. So we're gonna be going after big amberjack, big cobia, possibly African pompano, um, snapper, and who knows what else. You never know what you're gonna see out here on the Gulf of Mexico. So super excited. We're gonna tie up to the rig, get suited up, and see what we can get into. You guys stay tuned. If you're new here, I'm Braden Sharon. This is my Ponga boat. I do a lot of fishing and spear fishing out here in the Gulf of Mexico. This is what I love to do. I literally dream and live for days like today. So super pumped to get in the water. Let's see what we find. What do you think? Pretty tight? Around the rigs? Yeah, cinch it. So we haven't pulled up to the rig yet. I'm gonna wait so we can get set up. Blake just tied on a big eel in case a big ling swims up, big cobia. Um, so we'll be ready with something since I don't have any dive gear ready. But we are ready. Aside from me not bringing very big guns, I think we are decently prepared. This is unreal. Look at this. There's a giant snapper right there, dude. Big, big kudas and jacks. You see a snapper? Yeah. Red snapper or mangrove? This is unreal already. I'm so excited. Blake had his lure out of the water above the surface and they were going after it. Look at them all coming. Dude, look at that snapper. Dude, dude. They like this They're thing. wound. Oh, oh, whoa. Dude, those are big mangrove snapper. They're wound up. Just about ready. There are mangrove snapper all under us right now. Big ones. Coming into today, this morning, my sole expectation was maybe find clear water and shoot some red snapper and mangrove snapper. But here we are in clear blue water, blue green, with the possibility of really shooting anything. So maybe that's a good thing. It's always the days that you don't have any expectation or don't prepare that you have your best days. You know what I also didn't think about? I didn't bring an extra band for this gun. Ready? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Welcome back to the offshore oil rigs. Jumping right into it. But I wanted to say, this video, I was really out here trying to show my brother a good time. I'm not out getting a bunch of fancy shots. Blake hasn't been diving in years, so... Really the goal was to get him on an amberjack if we find them and just explore and enjoy diving the rig. So going to be mainly head cam and run and gun filming. That's usually how these bigger sins end up going, especially when they're last minute like this one. But yeah, here's one of my early dives. Right off the bat, I realized that I had forgotten to shave, well at least 
I didn't think my mask would leak because I was in the pool the day before with a mustache, but as soon as I started diving, the descent would immediately fill my mask with water and it made diving really, really difficult. If you guys are familiar with leaking masks and trying to free dive, spear fish, you know how hard it is. So that's why my diving looks a bit funky. The only technique I could really do was to go down and then just stop and turn upright so all the water would sit in the lower part of my mask and I could actually somewhat see but really this is a compilation of burning eyes trying to keep water out of my mask here but still really cool we're seeing a bunch of mangrove snappers I saw a black margate but I'm really just trying to spot or find some amberjack down deep as best I can since I can't see very well. Rookie, rookie mistake on my end. But yeah, I'm just going down, stopping and looking to see if there's anything hanging down deeper. Also, looking on the outside of the rig for African pompano if they feel like wandering by. But yeah, my diving is not good at all. Not being able to see really limits me. Comfort level is just not there for deep, deep stuff. So really my only hope is to spot an amberjack down deep and just have them follow me up so we can shoot them shallow which we would like to do anyways but I'm not going to be going down super deep to them they're going to have to come up after me pretty wild right I wish I brought a razor alright so we have a big tanker ship coming through and if you know anything about tanker ships on the move well you know that they put off a humongous wake so we're actually going to untie from this rig and move spots if that wake hit us while we were tied up it would not be good so that's the game plan There's an amberjack. All right, well, uh, do you care if I just jump in? Oh gosh, you're going right to it. Do you care if I just jump in? Oh my gosh, it's like there's multiple. Guys, big amberjack, I think there's several. I'm about to hop in the water. Dude, there's a giant right under there. I'm about to plug him. Is there multiple? Yeah. Multiple AJ, hey, be ready, cause Whenever I shoot, another one, they're going to come up too, okay? I don't know if they're going to stay up. I really want to shoot him ASAP because he might go down. I don't see him now. They came up and went back down. There's a Jack Cravel. I got to be ready, dude, because they don't come up and stay up for long. Usually. Sometimes they do, but I'm just going to have to hop in, dude. Drop that jig. Good amber jacks, dude. I'm gonna dangle him if you wanna get in the water as soon as I get back in the boat, okay? This camera's rolling. Huh? I'm gonna shoot, get in the boat, and start fighting him from the boat, and that's when you'll get in, because they're gonna follow it up. Alright, I got him. 
There's another one, so get your gear on. Yeah, there's another one, get your gear on. He's big. Watch the rig, watch the rig. They're swarming my fish. He tangles himself on the rig and they're right around him. They're giants. close to me I'm gonna get in the boat I'm gonna pull my fish in the other ages are gonna come up and you're gonna plug one and then we got to get away from the rig because they're gonna tangle up keep keep tension keep tension just hold the line all right you all going now yeah you want me to wait till they come out to your fish or shoot one right now when you see them dive down and shoot they'll swim right up to you and grab your line this thing is strong. You want me to go over there? Yeah. I don't know where my line is. Here, we can get your fish first if you want. No. Let's jump in right now. Jump in. Can I swim over there? Yes. And he's pulling so hard. I saw probably three more swarming this fish down deep or deeper. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Didn't stone it. I was right close to it, but I know I got a decent headshot. Golly. This thing is so strong. Oh, sheep. Forcing them because I got a double flopper on there. I'm confident. Should have stoned him, but I don't know. That double flopper got, gets me all messed up when it sticks up. Are there any with it? I can't see him. It's coming up now. This thing is going to be angry when it comes up. Golly. This is crazy. It's coming up now, but I must have not hit the spine at all. I didn't even touch it. This is only my second AJ on the spear gun, so it'll take some practice. I also need an 8 mil shaft. I got a little 7.5 on here, so that does help in the effort to stone the fish. Come on. my hand wrapped one too many times. He did not like the sound of that motor. A big one with yours. All right, well, if there is, then shoot that. I think we got mine. It's just not worn out. You see him? Yeah. 
There's another one. Can I shoot yours? Or if you want to shoot one of those other ones. There's one with them. Can we shoot him? If he's, if he's okay, shoot him. I want you to get one. Blake's going down to shoot an AJ. I don't know where my flasher went. I'd give him the flasher. He's chasing him. I don't like it. I don't know if he shot. You shoot? Van, dude. What happened? The line got wrapped. That's fine, that's fine. He's still with him. That's fine, reload it. No rush. Does he know you shot at him? No. Okay, good. Gear malfunction. My fish is down here. I'm letting him dangle so Blake can get a shot on the other one. Clear the line and get in the boat. I don't want you to get tangled. Thank you. Good stuff. We'll go back and look for that other one. Dude, what happened? The line point just... blank, and it just—I just see bands and line all tangled up. Oh my god! This thing is huge. Watch yourself, Blake. I don't want that spear to get you. Boat either. He had a good shot. Okay, mess up, yeah. It's just a little high. My shot was a little high also. It's gonna freak. I think we can bring him in. Alright, you ready? Just watch out. I'm gonna bring him in. Well, you know. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. All right, we gotta flip him because the spears are point first down on your fins. All right. This shaft right here is definitely messed up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Got our AJ, that was part of the plan. Thank you. Now we're gonna go chum and see if we can get another one up for Blake. Limit is one per person per day, so I'm on chum duty now. Whew. All right, let's get this all cleaned up. Oh my gosh. First, speared Texas AJ. All I gotta say is this thing whooped my ass. But I'm super stoked. There's a couple more down there. I'm not gonna talk long. We're gonna get Blake back in the water. I'm gonna chum and we're gonna go see if we can plug another one. So, see y'all in the water. <laughs> yeah. How about that, baby? Texas AJ's on the spear. Put the bag on top of it. We'll bleed them when they get going. So like I was worried about, the amberjack went back down deeper. So at this point, I'm trying to chum them back up or at least draw them up any way I can because ideally you don't want to shoot big fish down at depth. Here's a clip of Blake. There's actually some amberjack swarming around him, but I guess he didn't think they were that big. I'm telling him to shoot. These are really solid amberjacks. They're up shallow enough. 
You don't want him? Here we had a couple, I would say 40 pound amberjacks up shallow. There was a bigger one coming. Mm -hmm. But as you heard, Blake is waiting on the big trophy. He wants one like the amberjack I shot. And they're just hanging a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna keep chumming, keep diving, and try to draw them up. I'm really just trying to bring these fish up so we can shoot an amberjack with the least amount of headache possible because as you saw by the first one, they are insane fighters. You definitely don't want to be fooling around with them at depth when they can get all tangled up. So after I chummed that jack, I start to make some dives down to hopefully catch the amberjack's attention and ideally they'll become curious and follow me up. Here I spot a Kubera snapper on the juvenile end as far as size goes, but very, very cool. Blake's on a dive here. This place is fishy. Bunches of amberjacks, but he's being very, very picky. There's a good one. I guess Blake wasn't sold on it. He was passing. 70 pound amberjacks thinking they weren't that big. Bro, that's a good one. It is? Yes, I would shoot Something him. to note though, Blake hasn't been diving in years and he's also using a plastic lensed mask, which apparently makes the fish look smaller. I mean, even I was under judging these fish, honestly. I thought my amberjack was like 60 pounds. It turned out to be way, way bigger. But here I'm going down again. Same deal. These fish are coming up but going right back down. The reason I had such a sense of urgency earlier when the amberjack came up was because of this reason right here. They typically don't stay up shallow for very long. There has to be something there has to be a reason for them to come up shallow, that being commotion, you know, following lures up, or say me going down there, them spotting me and just following me up, checking me out. Little Kubera right there. There's a big one down deep. There's a big one over here too. Kubera? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
I could have shot him. Did, right? No way we were landing that though. No. Dude. I looked at no that cub's 60 pounds plus. Wow. I but saw him. He was like shallow. Yeah, he was. He started angling, my mask had water in it, and I knew if I took that shot, no way we we're landing. There's another one right here. Alright y'all, we're gonna try to get an AJ now. I'm gonna give those cubs a break. I did not want to take a shot on that giant because I know exactly what was going to happen. He would have tanked down deep and tangled me up and I would have not gotten it out. No shot. So, I'd rather have the chance later than wound him and kill him and never recover him. Beautiful giant Kubera though. Real quick, I'm gonna walk you guys through this giant Kubera snapper encounter and really explain why I decided not to take that shot and why I think that it would have been reckless. So as you heard, Blake spots the Kubera. It's suspended up very shallow. It's at like 50 feet. He points it out. I make a dive down and I'm facing directly away from the fish to avoid eye contact, avoid spooking it. Once I get down to the general level of fish, that's when I spin around and I peek up. And at first I don't see this fish anywhere until I look off to the side about 20 feet deeper than where we initially saw it. This Kubera is just sitting. Comes, kind of checks me out, starts to veer off down and away. The fish appears to be in range, but having a single flopper, a single roller, and where the fish is at, in regards to the rig, this would have been a Hail Mary of a shot. The spear gun I'm using is just not cut out for fish as large and powerful as a Kubera. At least it wouldn't confidently punch through and hold on, say as would a larger, more powerful setup. So on top of that, that fish had a clear shot down deep into the rig. The bottom here was at 200 feet. And chances are it would have gone down way too deep for me to retrieve. It would have tangled up down near or close to the bottom. And that's only if that spear punched through enough and that single flopper held. If anything, it could have broken or just torn out from the sheer power of that fish. So with that said, no matter how I looked at this, how I thought maybe this could have gone or that could have gone, this is a reckless shot given the setup I have where that fish is inside the rig and given the probability of not being able to stop that thing. So I ascended up, didn't spook the fish, decided to hold out. Kuber snappers are very territorial fish. so. There's a good chance it's going to be in this zone if I come back better prepared. And I'd much rather have a chance later than send a Hail Mary, wound the fish, lose the fish, and never see it again. Alright, so with that Kubera down deep, I set my sights back on getting Blake on his first amberjack. So I go down to shoot some chum. Stone this nice jackarel and now I will cut it up to try to draw these AJs up. And since I already explained the strategy of going about spearing these amberjacks, trying to draw them up with chum or by curiosity in making dives. I'm just gonna let these last dives play out, have you guys watch them as they unfold, and I will catch back up with you guys on the boat. Thank you. 
quick I just remembered but if you can't tell the current was ripping making this pretty difficult and also my mask was still leaking so my dives weren't very good going down and try to draw these amber jacks up That last dive was ridiculous. I go down, I saw tons of Kuberos right off the bat. AJ start coming in and then I see a Ling start swimming up towards me. 
Thankfully, the AJ started following me up. That's what we were trying to do. I was trying to go down. I don't even know how deep I was. I forgot my watch, but so I was probably 70-ish. Um, I was trying to go down and get them to follow me up so Blake could get a, a shallow shot so the Amberjack wouldn't wrap us all up. They follow me up. He pulled all the line out. I guess it's putting in the free spool. Yeah. They follow me up. Blake was able to go down and plug one. So that got the day finished. We just limited it out on Amberjack. It almost happened right off the bat early in the day, but nevertheless, we got it done now. We saw one monster. I was thinking that thing might have wrapped us up and kept That's us here till dark. Perfect size to shoot where we were at. Because, yes, where we were at with the current, our being tired and cramping, this was a good size because this right here whipped my butt. He was pulling super hard. And uh, yeah, I don't know what a big one would have done. Big one would have been a nightmare, I'll just say that. Same thing with that huge Kubera I saw. I don't know how big he was, but I wanna say he was like that Amberjack I shot. He was like that thick. And you know, I had him lined up cording away, but I was deep and I knew if I shot, he would have taken off straight down also had a bunch of water in my mask, so I couldn't, I wasn't confident I could hit the spine shot. My vision was all distorted. But hey, first AJ. Worn out. <laughs> this current is insane out here. Whenever you have big swells offshore, you tend to have a pretty, pretty strong current along with it when you're diving. But yeah, we tried chumming. And then eventually what was working, I noticed, was me diving down, catching AJ's attention. I was sitting there dancing at him, shaking a flasher, and I would slowly swim up and they would follow me up. And... At this point now, I can judge Kubera. You know, we were seeing fish like this or like this, but that one, that was humongous. That was a Kubera you want to shoot. That was one of the older, bigger ones. But I'm trying to be a responsible diver and not shoot a fish when we're in really deep water, knowing that it's gonna be a pain and low chance of getting it out. I also think I need a little more punch than a single roller. It might've gotten through, but I might have to come back tomorrow with my double roller. I don't know yet. We'll see, but for now, it's about 5.30, we have a long run home, so we're gonna get this sorted out and get rolling. Here's Blake's AJ, hold him up here. Push that tail out. First amberjack ever on the spear. Had some technical difficulties early, but he got it done. He's been feeling sick out here, if you guys can tell. But uh, yeah, two AJs, one per person is the limit. Got it done. Amberjack season closes in like three days, four days, so got to take advantage of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Had an awesome day. Saw some Kuberas, tons of Kuberas. Saw a giant one, lots of Amberjack. Crazy, crazy day. All right, it's the next day. We just cleaned Blake's fish up. It's about 100 plus degrees right now, so I am dying. But we're gonna get a quick measurement and weight on this fish. It is the next day, so I don't know how much weight it lost. But there's something in the mouth that I want to show you. I forgot to show the camera yesterday after I speared it. Oh, I just got all in my ear. <laughs> Come look at that, dude. That's a big fish. <sighs> Guys. Make a guess in the comments how much this thing weighs. We're about to find out. I guess we'll do a full length measurement. Is that on the end? I guess the top tail is longer, huh? Hold it there then. About 
Five and three fours could be six. To the tip of the tail. You can barely see it. There it is. Are you kidding me? I just weighed 165 and you know what that just said? 265. This is a hundred plus pound amberjack. We were thinking 70, but they're so dense and it's so thick. Dude, freaking second speared amberjack ever, hundred pounds. I wish I could, there's gotta be a way we can measure, or weigh this thing so y'all can see it, but. Oh, it's way in his throat now. But there was a big bait fish in there. Big one. Holy cow. 100 pounds. <laughs>